Did you miss me? Scenario that caught my eye that like recently had more buzz was Sasha Banks was released from WWE. And do you know about the whole situation with that one? Yeah, they didn't want to. They no showed. Yeah, they no showed. Yeah, they no showed a uh, Raw. Uh, they were in the main event. And it was like another like something with the champion with the Raw Women's Championship it had nothing to do with the tag titles or anything like that. And I think the reasoning was they left because there was no they felt their characters and that weren't going anywhere, pretty much. Oh yeah. And like what's the point of being tag champions? We're women's tag champions and we're not really doing much at all. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, uh, as a like, I, I watch WWE as casually as I can. Like me, I watch AEW. Yeah, and I you're try an to watch, AEW guy. Yeah, I try to watch him more. But with WWE, I I I like the women's tag belts. I love the I idea love it too. I love the idea of the women, uh, any women's division having a tag division as well yeah, within it. It was just Divas division before. Mm -hmm. And then WWE has so many women to make up a tag division. Yeah. So like. Why not? And I love the designs of the belts. I like them. They look different. Thank God. Right? And from memory, I wasn't really seeing much. Even though it was belts I liked. Mm -hmm. I liked how a women's division could also have a tag division. I love the idea. But I wasn't seeing so much with that. Now, for for such a long time, Impact has had the Knockouts tag team titles. Yeah. Like, what the hell? So, like, why isn't I... WWE. Exactly. So, that's why, you know, when they felt their characters weren't going nowhere, they just left the belts no there and no showed. So, yeah, But, like, I remember there was a, lot, a bunch of storylines. There's been a bunch of storylines where, like, oh, I'm going to leave the company with the titles. Yeah. When it's now reality. Where, yeah. Where, like, they left... They well, left, and now everybody, they're thinking, well, what the hell do we do? Well, they kept the show going, as but, always. But how did they do that? They did that by just changing up the main event. You know, they weren't oh, there. Oh, yeah, but what, is it, what are they going to do with the title? They haven't done shit with them. That's another thing. That's awkward. They kept the show going, what they had planned, but now you're out two tag titles. You're out the women's tag champions, and they said they were going to do a tournament. I haven't seen nothing about that. But they're going to have to do a storyline. They can't just be like, yeah. oh, they know show yeah, they have to. Well, they mentioned it briefly. Well, let me let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's not gonna be easy. No, it's not. It's not easy at all. Sasha Banks mentioned on WWE. But they did. WWE did. The WWE made a statement, right? Yeah, they made a statement. I wonder what. That's what I tried to look up. Like I probably just should have just said statement, but it's because they said it online. There we go. Oh yeah, we love we like we love all the WWE ads. I mean, I love all the ads. I love it when a wrestler is able to give given a little bit of time for a TV spot and they're able to make make do with with their own. Oh, was that Cody Rhodes? Yeah, yeah, it was. Let's see. Let's see what Michael Cole is saying. Mm. Neither of them were gonna win. So, like, what's the kind of the point of them being there besides making it all a six-pack challenge? That's that's bold. Look at Pat McAfee. His reactions. <laughs> He's being careful, bro. He's being real, real careful, but he's also reacting. Mm. I think. Do you think this was like him finding out? Nah, I doubt it. Mm. But like, I was surprised by the words they chose. Like, mm. oh, they disappointed us. Well, he found out right there. But it was being mentioned on live TV, so the way that works is they're in the back, you know, in the headset and whatever, telling them what to say. Mm hmm. Mm. So I'm pretty sure that's Pat McAfee reacting to, oh, my Cole is getting what to say, and oh shit, that this is what we're doing. Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. You know, like, like you said, I would have reacted the same way when those words were used. Like, that was pretty bold, and then they're announcing on live TV, hey, this is what we're gonna do. You they know, were, so like bold, like 
they disappointed us. The, like, the wording was very interesting. Very, very interesting. But what are your thoughts on that? Some people were thinking they're unprofessional, but then at the same time, you know, it makes sense. If, they're, if they don't have nothing for them, they don't have nothing for them, but at the same time, they're still champs. They're still employed. We're not really employed. They're, you know, private contractors. They're still there in WWE. So, like, mm, what, what's your take on that? Oh, I could easily say an opinion, but, like, I could imagine them being on the grind for years and years and years to get into this point in your career. And, like, you feel like, oh, is this where my peak? This Is this, like, I don't know. Are they going to forget about me? Because it has happened with a bunch of superstars where mm -hmm. they're at the pinnacle of the WWE and then they change something around and then, oh, they're just like another superstar in the roster. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe... I don't know, it's easy for me to say this th this or that, but like, I kind of understand where they're coming from, but it's it was bold. I understand where they're coming from too. I understand it. And now, I don't know about Naomi, but everybody's making news that Sasha's released. And what I think is going to happen is, after 90 days, we're going to see her somewhere. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's AEW or Ring of Honor or well, I don't know. That's going to be pretty TNA. Old. She can go be, wherever. But what you th do you think that AEW would like to have them there after what they did to WWE? Mm. That's always like that's, uh, an that's, afterthought. That's an, that's an afterthought, that. too. That would have to be up to Tony Khan. I'm pretty sure Tony Khan has thought of that already, too. It's like, oh, are we really going to contract these superstars that left the WWE straight up mm -hmm. no showed mm -hmm. like, are, are we going to take that risk with our company mm -hmm. or do you think our roster is strong enough and we don't need them but I don't know any, AEW will take anything to to give a blow to WWE like <laughs> like I think so the AEW would, would well, I don't know like with them having CM Punk that was a blow to WWE you know, that's a blow because well, a lot of their, like, unsigned, or are, any talent that came from WWE to AEW, they were not under contract no longer. They, like, were either released or they left the but company. Like, with CM Punk, Danny Bryan, they, they had their send-offs. Their proper, well, CM, CM Punk, Punk, nah. Our, but Brian, he got he, his time. Yeah, but, like, at least CM Punk didn't, like, no show. Mm. He came to perform and went to contract with all your over Sayonara. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't know if AEW will risk having people that no-show WWE. Yeah. WWE. And then the only no-show they had was MJF, right? But that was, like, part of a story a little yeah. bit. And then, I don't know it's his story now, but he's playing the part real fucking good. Mm -hmm. And that's all she wrote.